Welcome back, explorers. In this episode, we're exploring a beautiful mansion hidden deep within Italy. This place was in the middle of absolute nowhere. This huge mansion that dates back three to four generations. So the family that lived here grew up having one son. The son, after losing his father around 1981, his mother left his room completely untouched. Then the story goes, when his mother passed in 1983 in January the 16th, he locked his mum's little place up and left it like a shrine. His family then carried on and in 1992 completely vanished. So the husband and wife that lived here had one daughter. But as I said, in 1992, there was no trace. Completely abandoned this house, leaving everything behind. But the more we dug into this story, we found out they had very, very strong mafia connections. Some say they could be buried in the grounds, but this place now sits like a complete ghost mansion. Guys and girls, watch to the end as we explore into his mother's house that's been untouched since 1983. Basically 40 years this year. Love you loads, stay safe and enjoy the video. Whoa! I found grandma's house. You need to see this as well. So stay tuned for this part of the video. But yeah, let's crack on. So, ladies and gents, we just arrived at this property in Italy. And we're already heading through like a little tunnel way to this place. I'm so excited. I've seen some pictures of this place. I'm gonna really wanna do it. And today we are heading around this forest type place. And you can just about see the house there appearing through the bushes. So welcome back today guys. We explore an incredible mansion left behind in Italy. This place is a true time capsule and I cannot wait to show you inside. Let's get on with the video. So we're exploring a place in Italy today. This place is in the middle of literally nowhere. There's, I couldn't tell you how far away the nearest house is, but yeah, it's incredible. So ladies and gents, through the original front doors, straight into the main hallway of this place. Wow, Steve, this is incredible, bro. Yeah, dude, I can't wait. And I heard there's like some abandoned cars here too. We gotta find that. Yeah, we see the car. We need to go and find the cars afterwards. Yeah, for sure. Bro, check the seating out. Yeah, dude, I love the decay here too. You never see anything like this decayed really. It's been Pretty bad for a this long time. Thanks, bro. <laughs> this is good. So, guys, I've joined Steve on his trip this time. So, yeah, it's amazing to jump on people's trips and stuff and oh, experience stuff. But yeah, let's take you a tour anyway. So, as you can see, we're standing in the main entrance to this property. And I'm already greeted by look at this architecture and the ceilings. Look at the colours. Looks like A, B up there as well. Maybe like initials to the house or... And guys, check this marble staircase up. Running all the way up. Oh, wow. Isn't that incredible? I'm just thinking that everything's detailed. So probably would have had an old light here as well, screwed onto the end of here. I don't even know where to start. I feel like a kid right now. Literally, I've just been let into a sweet shop and I'm literally so excited. Wow. So as you can see, it's taken a little bit of a beating by, looks like, maybe some of the wrong um, explorers. I mean, there's signs all around this property saying beware, it's like dangerous and it's such a shame. 
I just told you it's been empty around nearly 30 years. I mean, that's a long time. Seeing old memories here. There's a downstairs bedroom as well, maybe a guest room or. Oh, guys and girls. Look at the ceiling. Loving all the floral and the kind of trees up there. And this is a thing as well, I'm not gonna lay on the bed, but you imagine now, we're getting into bed of a night, you're laying down, and before you switch the light off, you've got that ceiling. It makes you wanna put that little glow in the dark stars up there and stuff. I was gonna say, there's no way, that's 30 year old. <laughs> the fake plants. I'm loving the Italian furniture as well. Look at this mirror. I'm loving the way it's arched out. Just nature just coming in the windows now. It's like they've all gone for the same furniture. The bed's doing the same as the unit and the wardrobe as well. I wonder if there's still stuff left inside. See a little top hanging up there. Just all the clothing, it's incredible. <laughs> I just want to plug that in and hoover that up. So just leaving the bedroom. Stair cupboard. Even the bathroom, guys, has got literally everything still here. Look at the old scales, and they still work as well. A little shaver. What's this aqua crystal color? Some hair dye there, keeping itself slick. That Italian black hair, maybe. <laughs> maybe this is like a mafia mansion. No. It's incredible. Just so you get to walk the footsteps of someone else, someone else's life in this abandoned place. And just to show you how long it actually has been abandoned, the water cylinders right out through. Okay, so this looks like a an indoor storage area. But look, you can see this all the uh Paints come off the ceiling. So this would have been another beautiful grand room. But you can see maybe later on they've installed this brick wall and had the bathroom put in. That's still crazy though. Look at the flooring as well. This is a very weird light. I've never seen like that. It's made to look like a little wishing well and the little bucket there would be hanging. But it's a light. Guys, look at this. It really is a time capsule. It's kind of strange this room actually, it's like a, the kitchen stroke living area. I don't really know what's going on. Look at the old crackle paint as well. And these high, these high up ceilings.
loving the little coat hooks. All these jackets, the tie, this little hat hanging up. There's still like food in the cupboard. I just want to be careful of the dresses, so I'm going to cover up the paperwork down there. see the date on those. What the hell are they? Oh wow. So this is exactly right. The last calendar is 1992. Exactly 30 years ago. Well 30 years ago. For next month. Look at the decay in this room. There's bits of portraits on the table. This place feels like it's ready to fall down. I'm not even joking. I look at the old Century colour TV and the little remote still sat on the TV. That's a huge remote, it's like an iPhone size. Not as thick. It's like a bangle there or something. There's even like pictures as well. Like family memories. I just not sure what these are. Maybe for like cattle, cattle or something. You can see what that says on there. See the cobwebs everywhere. So I found another workshop, guys. Look at the old workbench. incredible yeah the ceiling above me is just smothered in cobwebs and just dust and everywhere this work I love this old workbench just old bits of timber put all the way across this place is a huge another staircase going up Okay, so this is the other side of that room. You know the ceiling I was saying about the paint's faded. Let's have a little look up here. Obviously like the attic space. <laughs> they love their wine, guys. But then we are in Italy. love these old rooms. So obviously back into the workshop. The reason I want to come back in here, I want to see some of the old tools on the side. Yeah, like, obviously for, I think, trimming sheep and stuff. Yeah, cattle cutter. There's spanners here. A little pot. Just like my dad does as well. Carries a little pot of nails and Oh wow. All the old spotlights, probably off the old tractors. And the thing is, even though it looks a mess, I bet he knew exactly where everything was. It's just a man thing, I think. Workshop's messy. Not all men. And I'm not saying that women haven't got workshops either, so. I 
Let's head back through here on your right, on your left, sorry. And look at this kitchen. A huge place like this with a very narrow kitchen. So this is what I mean, you've got that other room that you see further down with the cooker and stuff. Sink's literally about to collapse. So, like, I don't suffer with claustrophobia, but you feel like you physically can't move properly in here. And, I mean, God forbid, if you're in here and you're just cooking here, so, washing the dishes and it's caught fire. Like, you know, there's bars on the window, you're kind of stuck in here. Yeah, I don't really like the feel of that. So, so just look in here, this letter. I was doing this in a... Obviously, a thing called Google Translate. It's what it says to me that this is a letter in 1991 about the dairy farm. So obviously, he was a dairy, a dairy farm. Um, I just think of old age. I think he's passed away, and by the looks of it, um, obviously him and his missus. There's no one else. All well, this place has just been left nearly for 30 years now. So I see a lot of the old look bullet shells. This is what fires out of them. Hundreds and hundreds of ball bearings. So guys, you're literally walking the footsteps with me through this huge mansion. Marble stairs, guys. You can see how dark these places are as well. doors for your bedroom. Oh wow guys. Look at this room. And all the Italian furniture. I love these kind of look the way it is solid wood as well. A little book here. It says a very religious family but then a a lot of, I believe a lot of Italians are. I've noticed a lot in France and Belgium, there's a lot of older houses. I mean, this beautiful pram. I actually had one very similar when I was a kid. Look at that. They all spoke wheels. A lot of these here are on like leather straps. The leather straps support the pram. I kind of want to put it back in its strap, but. In case it breaks. It's how it's, it's how it stayed, how it found it. Suitcases. And again, it's two single beds, obviously put together. Oh, look at that. Loving the artwork as well, though. Two of our outfits hanging up. I've never actually seen a coat hanging like this. Does this keep like the back straight of a coat or something? And again this side. See the dust is covering that. Look at that vibrant red and gold coming through there. Just hidden by dust. Oh look how beautiful that is. Another bedside. Huge shutters as well, and you have here your strings. I believe you pull down, which would close, draw your curtains for you. And just to show you how overgrown this place is, 
I literally physically think you can't get round the back of this place. Or the side. I'm not actually sure where I am now in this place. I must have pulled about 30 cobwebs off as I walked round. Look at the bowl. And here. So this old clock, I'm guessing, would have been mounted somewhere on here. So it would have been a clock. It looks like maybe an ink well. So you probably would have had maybe a pen holder on there as well. So you probably would have had your pen, your clock and your ink well. You can see the stuff and clothing still in the drawers. I'm not really familiar with what she's looking in the mirror, but... Looks like mice or something have chewed the hand off. It just gives that so kind of tough, like, yeah, like... A kind of gangster look Italian there. Look at that, is in there? Maybe makeup, it's gone mouldy, I don't know. The shoes still there as well. I don't know if this is true as well, that part of like the old photos, the, you had to be kind of serious. Diploma here. Friend. So, okay, let's have a little look at this. Okay, well this actual document here is the Secretary of State of Agriculture. So this is maybe like a certificate, I don't know, like um, obviously completed in 1952 for agriculture. Um, it's basically granted with a production of 32,090 grains per hectare. That's what this is to do with. Okay. Pretty cool. I'm really trusting this floor in here. It's creaking underneath me. Let's see, look at this furniture. This is what I'm saying, look. Just falling apart. And all this wood laminate. 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 It's probably like an ensuite. Oh, okay. The kids like here, yeah, like the Spider Man outfit still there, and I'm loving this little high chair as well. I've never actually seen one like this. It's actually a yeah, it looks like the side of a car. These little leather bucket seat in there, I love it. And here, yeah, like it's really random in the bedroom. I don't know if it's quite common up here, like it looks like you can heat stuff up on it as well. And a little crib. We call these a cot in the UK. I'm loving the Moses basket as well. I don't know how I feel about having a kind of electric lamp, or is that just a shade? I guess it's just a shade. Loving this very like looks like very 60s lampshade up there. This is like another hall entrance straight into a another bedroom. A little single bed there. Loving these dresser units as well. Again, I'd say this is probably maybe like 60s, 50s, 60s. But look how they've been like the veneer as well. Do you think this is all neatly cut as well and pressed? here would have been part of an old mirror just collapsed this is why sometimes I wish that I could speak so many different languages just to read like these Italian documents and stuff it's absolutely incredible you see how much nature and dust and just rain every day is coming in this place this is just some of the views from the bedroom. So this side's a little bit clearer. This is the way we come in. As you remember the little bikes down there. You can see this part over here that's completely collapsed. Hey! <laughs> 
Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. Uh, what area are we? So yeah, we just, I don't know if you heard that camera, I was talking to um, the guys down there, but there's gunshots literally in the background. This place is absolutely huge. Honestly, you walk out of one section and you're straight into another section. Look at these, I don't actually know what these were for. So please tell me, I know I've definitely seen them before, but I can't get my, can't think what they're called. This is amazing. And all the little hooks there and the horses restraint bits. Loving the picture there of the little kid. How cool is that? Little cheeky. Electric heater. And there's another like like cot there as well. Loving the tartan around here as well. Very like kind of Scottish tar tartan. You can see the little pair of trousers there blowing in the wind. As I said, you can imagine how cold these places are, just walking around. I can feel now, I'm like, I mean, it's November now. It just feels very, very cold. Let's see the portrait there. Oh, it's incredible. Guys, I love exploring, I really do. So obviously we've come up the stairs, we've done one, two, the little crib room and the last single bedroom through the back there. And this is one of the final bedrooms. How beautiful is this? Oh, this bed is amazing. Loving the picture there of the Pope. See the moths have been in as well and eaten or everything. I'm loving this as well. Sort of native, like Africa or something. Because well, I forgot where they put these on their necks, like to stretch the necks or something. It's amazing, beautiful. Look at that wardrobe. It's incredible. Still suit jackets there hanging up. And again. I'll take you out the window on the drive one. Just looking around this side of the room as well, look at the shoe horn. Not like your plastic stuff today. Oh, it's a beautiful, amazing certificate. So 1945, this one dates to 1945 and 1946. Let's try and get the uh, translator. Oh, my phone's dead. Damn. I'll, see, I'll take a picture of those and see what they actually mean. This is another room of this place. Talk about completely change of scenery. It's like some Caribbean beach. 
literally clothing everywhere. Do you know, I've never seen a bed like this. It's got the, like a hi-fi system all built in. That were your, your lights. It's got a very 70s vibe in this room. This is definitely a ladies section. <laughs> All the little shoes everywhere. It's such a shame it's been really sort of messed up, you know, someone's coming here, they've emptied it all. I mean, maybe this is a mafia family, you don't even know. <laughs> they've come here looking for something. This is like the daughter's room or, I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at the old Pepsi Cola label. The things we end up keeping is unbelievable. But we're all to blame, we, all, we always keep this stuff. There's books there. Back of the door as well, like memories. It's like the family dad, obviously he's crashed his first car maybe. <laughs> Pretty sure what this outfit is here. A little bathroom on the end. When I see these old film bits, it always makes me wonder like you know, what was the last memories and photos taken down there. Guys, I kid you not, I'm literally still in the same mansion. This place is incredibly huge. This is still on the ground floor. But there is a separate door to this place. And this just proves a lot that doesn't matter how much space we get given, we always find a space, I always fill it. There's another calendar there, 1992. So it definitely does give a 30 year on this place. You see just all the stuff blown in from the windows and stuff. was the last film they were watching. Good old VHS. So what, I loved VHS. Oh. 1995, 96. Okay, so the calendar is 1995, 1996, but then you've got a video cassette there that's dating 2006, I think it was. I mean, what's gone on in here? This shows you how much soot as well from the cookers and that. So even though this stuff is filled with so much furniture, it's stuff like this that's irreplaceable. It's the same girl I keep seeing. <laughs> Loving the little doll there. It's 1985 here. This is a fan, has a Mark III Escort Cabaretto. These are, that's what I'm saying, the things that you can't replace. So yeah, stepping back outside this place. I'm gonna have a little look around. As you can see, so much of this place has collapsed. There's all the buildings, the roofs. There's part of an old, the side bit there. Look at the old sun swing outside I'm just loving all the construction you can see like, the post there and running through the logs of the trees so I mean, there's so many out of buildings completely lost the time. And 
see the old shutters there as well. It's like stepping through Secret Garden. Hands up. How many people have seen that film? <laughs> Classic of the 90s. So, when I just said over there, I don't think there's any like motor, yeah. motor cars here. So, this is welded shut. So what have we found? Kind of have to jump in. Actually, we're not going to show you yet. We're going to get inside. Are yeah, you ready? Let's see a little bit there. I'm not going to lie, there's a little fear there. But yeah, let's get inside. This guy's radic fan of cars. We've got a really old early BMW and we've got a Fiat 500. Guys, check this out. It's incredible. It's a shame that people have been nicking parts off it. We know the steering wheel's gone. The rear lights, the front lights. But I'm wondering if the guy who owned these cars actually drove it into the wall by himself, by mistake. I don't know, because the front's smashed into the, in the corner. Have you seen it? I didn't see that. If it wasn't for you, Dave, I wouldn't have known what these cars were. Because if you look there, it's been squished into, like, bent into the front. And there it says, guys, BMW. Actually, I wonder if it's got there. Because there's a chassis plate there, so... So this is a BMW 2002, not the year, the model. This is so cool there. They normally have like a date of manufacturer as well, BMW on their plates, but this one hasn't. This barn and all is literally probably going to come down on these two cars. These need to be saved. And here, the famous Fiat 500. And just these wheel trims there. <laughs> the gas tank under the bonnet. Look at that. It's probably the original miles, 22,000 kilometers. Imagine like the family of four sat in that little car. And a tiny little engine in the back, but and this is what, again, I'm going to swear as well, this is what pisses me off. Trying to get to engine parts, they've literally hacked the boot lid right back. So guys, standing right next to the BMW 2002 and the Fiat 500, which is probably around about the 60s, 50s, and uh, two amazing... literally roof falls down on these people. Oh, Whoa! Did you throw that? <laughs> no, I was that's trying, good, I was that's good enough for your shit. That's what, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that I did, I did. So yeah, I'm going to head out of the workshop. It's sad about all the little weird handprints all around the walls as well. Maybe these kids or something, I don't know. But. And the other thing I didn't know, it's about this Fiat 500, it's a little soft top. Put in the comments below, what would you rather have, the Fiat 500 or the BMW? I know where I am, but they're both cool cars. I think they call these like the sharp nose BMs. But yeah, right, let's head back outside and let's go and check out the rest. So sad when time steps. Look at the staircase. It's just like hanging on, a little bike there. Oh, just want to save so much, really do. All these apartments are just falling down. So 
So the roof above all this is literally collapsing. So maybe just like he was using this as like a storeroom or something. Oh, it's so cool though. I'd love to have in all this land. So as you see at the beginning of the video, I said to you I found grandma's house. Now we're going to explore grandma's house. Look at it. How overgrown this place is. Look. It's like a true time capsule in here. Look at this. It's, everything's still here. Her little dresses. Again, very religious. It's like he kept this when she passed away. He just shut these doors and just kind of let it. Nature do its course. And the calendar in here, oh no way. It's 1983, the year I was born. I'm not sure what month that is, Janela. Let me know guys what month that is. I'm August 83. That is crazy. So this is literally 39 years has been completely shut away. Maybe he never came in here after she passed away. You can see how dirty and dusty it is. And they just busted through the windows. As I said, all the rosemary beads, look, just falling apart. It's been abandoned that long, her dresser is completely rotting through. This is absolutely incredible. The history. Look, every bit of our clothing still in here. You'd think she'd be freezing in here. But I believe the older generation have built a lot tougher. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, look. It's her husband when he was younger. And that's literally her standing outside. Oh. Guys, you can't even tell now. There's this, the wooden shutter door that you're looking at there. It's crazy. I'm hoping these staircases are okay. Because the ceiling is not. Oh. It's all rotting away. Oh, wow. Wow. Guys, this is his room. And this must be like the flowers that sat next to his picture. It's breaks my heart. You fall in love with someone. And then they pass, or you pass before them, leaving them completely on their own. Meth. I don't know what that is. Oh, guys, this is absolutely insane. It's amazing. So leaving the upstairs bedroom. Just seeing some of the books as well that were left. It's just really sad to think that his bed's literally probably is still made how he left it. So what I'm considering is the grandpa the the parents lived here. They brought their son up and the son took over the farm, got married, had a daughter, and then the parents of him moved into this section. And then obviously he's passed away and she's kept this room exactly like a shrine. And then the her son's done the same when his mother passed. 1983. I've literally stepped back to the year I was born walking around in this little park. I'm just giving you a little look back as I walk out. Beautiful, isn't it? This is why I love overseas, guys. <laughs> right, let's get out. Just as I promised, guys, heading out. Look at the size of these huge barns. Loving the little old table saw there as well. Look at it. <laughs> Loving the old table saw. I'm guessing just brick that up at some point. This whole place, look, it's just being supported up and I'm walking underneath it. All this 
beautiful wasted space that someone else could make use of. All the people around the world are homeless in this place like this. It could be renovated. And there's the grain for the grain. This is what this farm is for. A dairy and grain farm. I've got to try and sneak out, guys, because there's a bloke walking around with a dog. So, country roads of Italy. Another place explored. Another huge mansion. And that place, it was like just kept giving and giving and giving. Mm -hmm. Like you walk one room, and then you're in another room. <laughs> Bro, it was like going through different generations of the family. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I said. We started in the younger part, but which I think was the mother and father's. And they moved down to that little house, which become grandma's. Yeah. And then the daughter's room. Yeah. I thought that, that was the daughter. Probably. Little girl, yeah. So I think as she grew up, she lived there in the second second part. So yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Motherfucker! That is the <laughs> So yeah, I hope you like the enjoy the video, guys. Check out Steve as, as I said. I'm gonna get Dave back. Yeah, let me know. Back. And a lot of people have said it, and you know that. Like I said, that, why don't I join Steve? So, and that is true, bro. I've had quite a lot of comments yeah. saying about I know, joining me you. Me too. And it's been a while since. Actually, this is the first time ever we've done like our own thing. together. Yeah. Our own little trip. Oh, your trip. I'm just. Gate well, crashing our it. Trip. <laughs> we smashed it though, yeah, another one done bro. It. And check out Radit over there man. Hey. Been picking his brain about camera stuff. <laughs> oh, as I said guys, all the li links are in the description, love you loads. And uh, yeah, see you on the next adventure. Out from me, out from Steve, out from Radit. Love you loads, stay safe. So as you see on the screen now is my beautiful Nan who sadly passed away February the 2nd, 2023. This has left a massive hole in me. I love her with every beat of my heart and I will forever and ever. She's my best friend. She's my second mum. She's my Nan. Love you loads guys and thank you for all your support.